Hey guys, um, I've got another tip for you for uh, how to save money by mixing your paints. Okay, I've got an interior flat, I've got an interior satin, I've got an eggshell latex interior, I've got a flat, and then this was another flat. Okay, I'm not sure. I think this is a bear as well. And if you're, I don't know if you can tell these colors or not, but I've got kind of a creamy tan and a, a dark tan, light tan, and a kind of a gray. And then that's another gray, okay? So I took these paints, and they're all interior. You can mix exterior paints as well. But um, they say that the, uh, the exterior paints are more designed for uh, uh, not to be fading, while the interior paints are better at uh, not having a, a hazardous odors, VOCs, uh, stuff like that. And... Uh, the only problem is, uh, I want to want to say this right now, if you're mixing paints and you're taking flats and you're taking satins and you're taking eggshells, uh, then what's going to happen is, is you're going to be creating something in the middle between, you know, you might, like, if you've got four gallons, I mean, and one satin and one flat, one eggshell, you're going to be somewhere in between. Maybe uh, if you had the satin and the flat and the eggshell, you'd probably wind up with an eggshell. But if you've got two more flats, then you're going to be maybe a little less than that. So anyway, what I'm getting at is the problem is, is if you, you've got to mix plenty of paint, so you're going to have enough that you, if you ever have any touch-up, because it's, it's not going to match perfectly uh, because your sheen is going to be slightly different. But anyway, I've got these, uh, what, five paints here that I mixed up. And out of that, I got this paint. And uh, it actually turned out to be a pretty good color. I like it. And uh, I don't know if, how my... Uh, this is a painted piece of sheetrock that I did, and it, if you feel of the sheen of it, it's, uh, I would say it's very close to being an eggshell. And um, so anyway, I mean, it's just a money-saving tip. I mean, if you've got a million dollars, uh, you know, it's no problem, but, you know, uh, uh, I'm not, I mean, anybody can do anything they want with a million dollars, so, uh, just about. So anyway, uh, that's my tip for today, is, uh, if you've got a lot of paint sitting around, then, you know, uh, and it's not really the color you want, or maybe you don't have enough of it, um, that's about a hundred and twenty-five dollars worth of paint over there. So... You know, uh, another thing too, if you go, if you're, if you're kind of scared to do this, I know, you know, it's not something that everybody would be comfortable doing. Uh, there's a web page, if you go to, it's uh, JavaScript uh, Watercolor Mixer, and you just play around with that a little while, uh, it's like a a little online uh, color mixer and you can kind of create the colors that you have and mix them with other colors that you have and see what you come up with so anyway good luck guys and maybe I can save you some money talk to you later